Hello, my name is Mike Kanefke. I'm with the San Antonio Family Association, just one of the organizations with the, the Stop Planned Parenthood Coalition here in San Antonio. We have put these uh, uh, videos together to help you as citizens to become more knowledgeable of what's taking place in our city. And if you wish to be able to speak on December 9th and December 10th down at the city chambers, as they're going to be making a decision on some new uh, amended language that would allow Planned Parenthood and other abortion facilities to open up next to your neighborhood or any neighborhood here in San Antonio. The first uh, video here is titled, The Deceptive Beginning. The Deceptive Beginning. And the purpose and the reason behind that is that back in 2014, the Planned Parenthood uh, in here in, in San Antonio uh, went to the uh, Secretary of State and filed for a new name known as Del Intero Investors Limited. That's Del Intero Investors Limited. It actually means a facade or face in Spanish. How appropriate. Yeah, it was January 17th of 2014. In March 26, 2014, this particular property at 2140 Babcock was purchased by Del Intero Investors Limited. And then August 8th of 2014, that is when they received a building permit from the city of San Antonio in the Development Services Department to begin construction. But let me back up first, and let's talk about why this was necessary. You see, in 2013, uh, Governor Perry uh, signed into bill HB2, House Bill 2, and that is a new bill that stopped abortions uh, after 20 weeks. This is a very good thing, even though we believe, most of us, that abortion shouldn't exist at all. The second is it had certain protocol that had to be followed. As it relates to a facility, it's necessary that the facility is, is structured in such a way that it abides by the Ambulatory Surgery Center uh, code of the state of Texas. And this simply means that it's a facility that has certain uh, 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 things associated with it, like backup electricity, if the power should fail, for instance, or extra wide hallways to get gurneys in and out, lighting, things of this nature. So when HB2 passed, they said all abortion facilities from now on have to abide by the Ambulatory Surgery Center uh, protocol. Planned Parenthood of South Texas back then at 104 Babcock knew they had to move if they were to stay in business. So they began, began looking for a facility, the one I just described to you. You might recall that in October 11th, 2014, they were so proud of their facility that they had found that the Express News was also celebrating with them and put out this article about the new, brand new facility at 2140 Babcock. Now, why did they come out with Planned Parenthood on October 11th? That's because they were awarded the building permit from the city on August 8th. And there's a certain period of time that they have to pass before any neighbors in the area can object to their new neighbor. Well, 60 days later, or over 60 days later, that's when this came out. So there was plenty of time. The reason why that was critical is, even though Planned Parenthood claims that they do all types of good things for women and all kinds of good things for men and what have you, in their heart of hearts, they are very deceptive. In fact, they wanted to make certain that it passed that period before any announcement went out so that no one objected to their, their new uh, home. You see, if the residents had pulled up or Googled and found out who was moving in, it would have said Del, Del Intero Investors Limited, which sounds to me like uh, a bowling alley or a fancy Italian restaurant or something of that sort. No one would have believed it was going to be the new home to Planned Parenthood. The whole idea behind this is this new amendment language that's going to be presented December 9th and December 10th at the city uh, chambers is the city council is going to vote on whether or not to uh, allow this new language to take place, which essentially would allow these to be put up anywhere in the city of San Antonio in commercial, right next to maybe your neighborhood or my neighborhood. 
So a vote for the redefinition of ambulatory surgery center amendment is a vote for Planned Parenthood. So we encourage you to go through these videos and uh, learn a little bit about the history and what's taking place here so that you're going to feel confident to be able to speak on December 9th and December 10th. So remember, a vote for this new amendment is a vote for Planned Parenthood. We ask the city uh, council vote no. Thank you very much.